coming up to the right of Chris Carlson. Manning has it on the draw. He'll win it clean back. And now Appendino, D to D across to Bricky. Bricky back for Appendino up top. Appendino looking for the one timer. There's a shot from Lepster tipped in front. They score. It's Tyler Paquette. The redirect in front, Carlson couldn't react to it. The shot from Lepster, I believe the way Paquette actually reacted to it, he might. Special team something that would favor Des Moines in this hockey game as Central Illinois, their power play and penalty kill are near the bottom of the league. As the shot goes through from the point and Bricky makes it 2-0. Carlson never saw it. It went right through the wickets, and Scooter Bricky has got a pair of points to start the game. It's 2-0 Des Moines. Here's Lebster now. Bats that one out of the air in deep. And behind goes the chip out to neutral by Butella. Manning carefully turned it right over to Cameron Burke, who walks in and scores. Oh, and Luke Manning, a little bit of a gaff there. He thought maybe that was a buck player coming behind. He just poked it ahead, and Cameron Burke had a whale of a head of steam. He blew around Malinowski and went five hole on Kaharski, and it's 2-1. Costello's going to serve it. I think it might have been too many men, as there was quite a fracas going on in front of the Bucks bench. Players looked jumbled up. So it's going to be a penalty against Des Moines. And a chance right in front off the faceoff, they score. Quick work on the power play as Central Illinois didn't even let me get a chance to talk about their penalty or power play exploits this season. Dead last in the league on the power play, but they get an easy one there. As if can't read, Lebster has had a strong game tonight. Lebster's someone who likely didn't miss training in the holiday break. He came back with all kinds of steam, but now a turnover there as a shot on goes off the blocker of Kaharski as Luke Manning. The precarious turnover for a second shot, they score! From the left point, it got through traffic. Kaharski didn't react in time, it beats him under the glove. And Central Illinois has had all of this second period so far. It's 3-2, their first lead of the hockey game. In front, missed the net. Here's Kafuk. Miss Q up top with Corson Green back out to center. The puck goes with 10 seconds remaining. Bucks will back off to give an entry from Bro. Nice move to the outside. Bro again, wrapping it in front. Back door, look, they score! All alone was Jamie Armstrong in the power play for Central Illinois, which has struggled all season. Perfect tonight, two for two, and it's four, two aces. D to D for McKinnon. Middle of the ice is open, Otto is there, but a good step, loose puck now for Harbin, in on the breakaway, Harbin shoots, save Carlson. Best opportunity of the period for Des Moines, Harbin couldn't put it away as Bricky fires and scores, second of the game, that one goes through all kinds of traffic in front. The Bucks celebrating like it might have been redirected and that is a monumental goal to get with just 43 seconds to go and the Bucks had the lead whittled back down to one. Operation time, as here is Stehoviak, left circle. Bank down for Andre, right corner. Urbank watching him diligently. Back to the right point for Callahan. Almost poked away from Henches, which would have been a pick six in football terms. He would have been off to the races. Shot through from the point it goes in. Might have been redirected in front. And another power play goal from the league's statistical worst power play. They have been splendid tonight. And that could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. It's it. They'll lurch it up the near wall. Trying to get across the line as Lotzka on the backhand. He'll shovel it in deep. Henches spins him away from pressure. Ogba Kyle does the same with the puck to the bench side. Griffey gets it across, but it's slapped back down by the Aces. This puck will hop up and be put away by Lotzka, and the Bucs will fall tonight by a final score of 6-3. to three. Lotzka gets his second and team leading 11th of the season. Second goal of the night. And the Bucs.